Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Lamia, this is The Lamp Style. So today we're talking about uh, staples that you need to have in your wardrobe to, um, to create a capsule wardrobe for spring summer 2023. Forgot to tell you, it's Ramadan. And literally this is what I'm doing on Ramadan. Snacking. Is it's 1 a.m. in the morning. And this is what we do, people. Very not normal, but normal for us. Doing this, watching TV, vlogging with you guys. Yeah. Also, I still have furniture delivered, as you can see there. I haven't put it together, but you know what? This is the case with Ramadan. It just slows you down. And you're not focused. What's happening to me? <laughs> you're not focused on achieving things or being productive or anything. You're more focused on other stuff, religious and faith and yeah, whatever we focus on. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna sound so blasé on this video. That's not good. <laughs> but anyway, this is just who I am. I want to be blasé, but I'm not. I'm very stressed out most of the time. So yeah, let's hope these packages arrive soon. So that I can make the video for you guys. We're already in March. April is very coming very soon. You need my advice, right? Your personal stylist advice. So I feel like I am your personal stylist. Like I'm at your service. For free. <laughs> so, I know, <laughs> to this video, I was saying, yeah, I'm just like, couldn't receive anything on time. Now everything is here, everything is uh, prepared. I'm using some of my old stuff, uh, just to show you the examples of um, garments that you need to have. So, this is literally going to be um, a long list of stuff that if you want to have the basics, the basic staples in your wardrobe for spring, summer 23, this is the things. Um, I tried to cover as much as I can, but yeah, I hope this will help you to create a capsule wardrobe for 2023 20, spring, summer. We will start with some the simplest part of it, which is the knitwear. So you need to have in your wardrobe a versatile knitwear. I love this one because first it's not very thick, it's a little bit transparent and it gives you this vibe of spring. Um, if it's too thick then it will not look like it's a spring item and also it's going to be too hot for, for, for a very thick knitwear. So this one also comes with buttons in the middle which looks great if you want to wear a bustier underneath it. You want to wear something sexy you want to just wear a t-shirt um, anyway you can wear it open wear it closed this is actually a great knitwear piece for spring summer i know that lots of people will be wearing something like this in london for example because it's still very cold um, but yeah i love also the color go for nude colors uh, go for beige blue black all those go with everything in your um in your closet and you don't have to just like buy one and just put it in the cupboard and it never comes out. So this is why I call it versatile. You need to make sure that you will be able to style it with many of your items in your wardrobe. So the next one, the next one is a very simple trend that it's been very popular this season and it's the very relaxed jeans. As we know, as we have seen all celebrities wearing it, uh, it's the puffer jean, which comes a bit on the sides like that. You know, I'm going to try to put a picture for you so that you can uh, understand what I'm talking about. But I do believe that that piece is going to come in very hot. It's really hot at the moment. And it's just going to come out quickly, very quickly. It's not going to be trendy anymore. And you're going to end up with a pair of jeans that are just sitting there in your wardrobe. So what I believe in is that this kind of relaxed jeans wide legs will actually be the closest to this trend so that you can feel that you are you know in and trendy 
but you can still wear it even when the trend comes out because it doesn't have that specific puffer on the side style of jeans. So this is actually a really nice color of jeans that I like. A lot of pieces here are very affordable and I did that on purpose so that everyone can just create their wardrobe um, staples. Uh, so I'm also going to put all the links for these items that I'm showing you down below in the description. You can shop it there. Next staple is a staple that has been in the wardrobe for a very, very long time, which is the oversized relaxed shirt. This is one of my favorite shirts. If you have seen me in other videos, you've seen, you would have seen me um, wearing this shirt. This is actually one of my favorite. I like it silky. You can buy it in any kind of fabric. You can buy it in cotton, normal cotton, uh, I don't know, thicker ones, but the oversized relaxed shirt can go well with uh, whatever I'm wearing now. Like for example, these trousers, like uh, wide leg trousers or uh, relaxed jeans or uh, even leggings or even with a mini skirt. Um, and it will look still look really, really chic and just elevates the outfit at some point. Like you don't have to make too much effort for your outfit to look good and elevate it. This thing is my favorite. So have, you need to have, uh, definitely you need to have an oversized relaxed shirt. Just wanted to come here quickly and share with you the big news. I am launching a new mini course online for everyone who wants to learn about their um, style to learn about how to style themselves and how to ha find confidence in their style. This course is going to be launching on the 11th of April. I'm going to launch it with a very special price for everyone who will be subscribed to the waitlist. So don't hesitate to go down to the box below and leave your email and I will personally in, uh, notify you when the course launches. In this course, I will be talking about all the technical tools that can help you to find your style, to find what works for you based on your skin tone, your body shape, and we will be doing exercises so that you practically do the work so that you know how to find what suits you. I will also give information about how to find inspiration, how to build a capsule wardrobe. Also, this course would include you being part of a community, you will be a member, you can discuss and have questions asked in that group. You can also uh, join my Q&A session that will be live every month with just the members of this group to answer all your questions, to help you with your style, with your lifestyle, with any challenges that you're going through. So I can't wait to see you there. So the next item is going to be the tailored trousers. Tailored trousers have been very popular. I've seen so many um, Gen Z's wearing it, but I know that millennials and other generations can wear it too. So I like it usually to be wide legs or a flare because of my body shape. But those two uh, um, styles, the flare and the wide leg, they go with most of body shapes. So I like it this way. So like the one I'm putting here in the video or something like what I'm wearing now, you know. This is also a tailor trousers, which is more simple as you can see. Uh, has no belt um, space but it is just like flat under the stomach I love it I have many of those because they they're so easy to just put on and just go and you still look chic I have something also like this which is I want to just get closer to the camera which is actually not tailored and not denim and it's in between and actually looks great on because Simply, it just gives you this like very relaxed vibe. At the same time, it looks a bit tailored. It's like you look chic, you look put together, you look clean, the cut is clean and it's quite straight also. I would go for lighter colors because it's spring and to remind of spring, it would be great to wear like pink, fuchsia pink, uh, maybe uh, lighter pink, like blush pink, green, purple, I have worn it before. So those are like nice colors to have in this kind of trousers. Next thing will be the um, maxi skirt. Maxi skirt is very popular at the moment. Everyone is wearing it. And I think it's a really good choice for bringing out the femininity to make you look dressed up and at the same time not showing much skin. And it's so relaxed and it's so chic and it looks like it looks a bit edgy when you put it on. 
I like to put it in a very classic way, simple way, just like casual. If I'm going for a coffee, if I'm going for a quick lunch, it would be really great with a nice uh, jacket on top. Um, so you can have it in denim. Denim uh, maxi skirts are the thing at the moment, but I think that the denim also will just get out of style very quickly. So what I have here is a cotton one that actually makes your silhouette looks really good. It reminds me also of the Saint Laurent runway show for spring summer 2023 where the maxi skirts were like the thing you know um and yeah i would do it in cotton i would do it in denim i would do it in black denim maybe that you would wear it more often um i think also silk silk maxi skirt is also nice for spring summer the next staple here is something I has been I have been wearing for the last two years and I think it's very chic to add this to your wardrobe and for spring summer it's nice to add a blazer or something on top instead of a coat because sometimes it gets cold at night so a tweed jacket that looks a bit like Chanel style you know uh, you don't have to go buy the Chanel one it's extremely expensive but you can buy something like this this one from Mango I have many of them you can wear it cropped you can wear a normal one long one short one so many brands do so many nice blazers like this so this is a very chic staple that you have and it doesn't go out of style you can wear it forever you know the next one is something also that is very popular for 2023 spring summer is the vest shirt the vest when I say vest, I always remember the office. I think about something very formal, very uh, dressed up. But to be honest with you, this is the best addition that you can have in your wardrobe for spring, summer. It allows you to also make your outfit look f complete, you know? Like sometimes you would wear an outfit and something is missing and this would make it look complete. This is very trendy. And I would actually get it in gray, black, or beige so that it goes with everything that you have in your wardrobe. I also like wearing it with a t-shirt like this one that I'm wearing or a sleeve, uh, a bodysuit with sleeves or even without something with that sleeve underneath. And you can also wear it all by itself as a top and it looks really, really good. Now, next we'll go to the accessories and my favorite accessory as a staple is the crossbody bag why the crossbody bag it's very versatile it's very practical you don't have to think about it you don't have to try to match it with your outfit it's just like it goes with every outfit i have this one in brown because that's the only one i have and i have many of them but i would highly recommend you to get a black one or a nude color one brown also goes with <coughs> sorry brown also goes with most of the outfits black is the best one like celine one or salon or anything like that Continuing with accessories, I want to talk about the shoes. The one thing for spring, summer this year uh, that everyone needs to have, and I know it's hard, it's hard for people to just kind of go for this thing, but I feel like I always love it and it's always going to be something special. It's the ballerina shoes. For me, the ballerina shoes, I, ha I grew up wearing it. I was a kid I loved them and now I love wearing it I wore it last year with jeans with skirts with everything with leggings it looks simple easy going and yeah Mew Mew made it very trendy and I think that having this will help you not think much so this is a classic one I would actually I would have it in black or in a nude color next staple is the sling back the sling back um uh, is something that is very chic it goes this it goes with everything goes with jeans really well i also wore it with maxi skirt it looks really good so for me the sling bag is used to be for a certain person for a specific person that actually likes to look classic but then now when i see prada doing this new sling pack and uh, mew mew um this one is from roger vivier all those they're making it so uh, funky so nice so modern I seen people wearing it with jeans uh, I don't know with dresses and in both ways it looks great either either with the dress it looks nice and classic and with the jeans it looks very edgy and very modern <clears throat> so I love this for spring summer it is a must-have um, to elevate your outfit 
Next thing I really have to mention is that you have to think about your accessories as much as you think about your outfit. So for the accessories, I'll highly advise so that you get some big chunky accessories. They are very trendy this year. So I would wear big bangles, a lot of them. Uh, that makes a statement. Also, I would think about big earrings or big hoop earrings or like chunky earrings that actually um, stand out um, when you wear them. I don't really mind also including some ideas about sunglasses. Sunglasses this year are not that big, you know, you go for something small, slim, something like from Cartier, from Gucci, these like small with pierced uh, glass uh, on the sunglasses. So those are the trendy kind of sunglasses. And also, I would also want to mention, so for, for the bags, I want to also add that the tote bag this year is very, very important in your wardrobe. It is versatile, it's practical, you can wear it to the supermarket, or you can wear it to lunch or to work. The tote bag, I believe, is going to be very popular this spring, summer. So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope I gave uh, as much information as I could. So also, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to go to the uh, comments and leave your question there. I will reply to you. Unfortunately, for those who are uh, leaving bad messages, I'm not replying to that. But I will reply to uh, hate messages I don't reply to, but I absolutely reply all the time to uh, your questions and uh, anything that you are asking me and need help with, I will reply to that. So thank you so much for watching uh, and hope you enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one. Stay safe and share if you care.